En soos gebruikelijk is sy hier, Lindy, maar lan, gaan het goed met jou? Dit gaan uitsteken, baie dankie, ja, natuurlijk. Lekker om jou hier te en vandag is een van die dag wat ek nou nie kan wacht om te hoor nie. I know, uh, Want het gaan oor ontploffing. Uh, kijk, as ek, as, ek, as ek hoor chocolate ontploffing mee, <laughs> dan jy my aandag gekry. Dan, ja, on, uh, me too, and I'm salivating because um, the product is standing right in front of us. Ja, dit doen, en ek kijk ja. my so nie oor, ek gaan nou een koffiekie kry. Uh, Nicole Cockett, uh, Chocolate Bomb Delight, die Einar, daar is ek recht, is jy Einar, Nicole? Yes, I'm the owner ah. of Chocolate Bomb Delight, thank you Fantastic. guys so much for having me. And welcome, we can't wait to hear what you have to say. Lindy, let's go. Uh, you know, and, and, and I look at the product and I just think, oh my gosh, this is even too beautiful to even comprehend, it, let alone put it in warm steaming milk, but if it's so lovely on the eye, can you imagine what it does in your mouth? It's too beautiful to eat. That's the problem. That's You'll just put it there somewhere there we go. and just we'll have, have a look at it. We'll have a collection <laughs> item. Eh? So, Nicole, welcome. I'm super delighted to chat to you. So, the owner of Chocolate Bomb, Bomb Delight, a business concept started in COVID. So, take me back to where it all started, this love for chocolate. Tell me about it. So it's, a, it's an interesting story because I come out of a 13-year occupational health and safety construction background. So it is chalk and cheese to what I was used to doing. <laughs> Absolutely. But um, obviously COVID came and it threw us all a curveball. We didn't know what to do in that time and everything closed down and construction was a, a sector that, that waited forever to get back mm. and lots of permits to be in place. and. We had bills to pay. We had to, to make a living and we had to, to have an income. And I thought during such a difficult time and, and people not knowing what this is about or what, how it's going to play out, what can I do to brighten people and, and just create a smile and joy in such a difficult time? And yeah, that's, that's how Chocolate Bomb Delight started. It was trial and testing and lots of lots of eating lots and of chocolate wasting and melting <laughs> and and yeah it was it was a story to get it started but um yeah on the 30th of june 2020 i created the first one or the first one that i was going to sell and from there it just went absolutely crazy literally exploded literally exploded so of course if this was tv it would have been easier but now please nicole tell our listeners what does this actually mean i'm staring at a chocolate bomb it's a delightful looking chocolate ball but I, just tell us what it's about so it is a circular 70 millimeters of round delight so as you can explain it is a circular we put it into hot milk you balance it on top you wait a few seconds and then it actually explodes and inside we've got six different flavors then the six different flavors are in the inside with marshmallows and it explodes and you just see marshmallows coming out so it's a hot chocolate but just way more explosive oh my goodness i can i can just imagine so christy are we excusing you you're literally Thanks. salivating I'll be, I'll be coming back in 10 minutes okay <laughs> okay so so let me get this straight so um a cup of hot milk you put it on inside on the on the, on the milk it, it floats and then as soon as the chocolate starts to melt this amazing cacophony of delight and smell and taste and now you've got a rolls royce hot chocolate right that's correct is that how it works that's how it works yes. okay lovely so so i mean of course you had lots of ideas why this idea because i'm now talking as a business coach you're a business owner why this idea what's the appeal for you and why do you think people will get excited about this beautiful chocolate bomb so like i said i wanted to have something during that time that would brighten people's days so what were we doing we were all sitting at home in winter in yes, front of our imagine. tvs <laughs> and, and um, we needed something to just create that spark and I started selling them and people would come and collect them and they would send messages saying, oh, my child's eyes or myself and my husband looked at our children doing it. And, and it just all of a sudden became something that then wasn't just for children, but like all age ranges because I would have older people message me and saying, oh, my word, this chalk, the marshmallows that come out of it. How delightful is that so it was just this little product in this little box that created so much excitement for everyone of all age that's amazing are you a chocolate lover 
Not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine. So, so I, I'm, a, I'm a, a, a cheese and a, a salty crack person, but oh, okay. my favorite, the hazelnut coffee, it is the best one out of them. It, all of our flavors are amazing. So and give they, us an idea of the flavors. You mentioned six, right? Yes. So we've got Nutella, Bar One Milo, hazelnut coffee, Kit Kat, Aero Peppermint, and Spice Char. Okay. So there's a flavor range for everyone. Um, and like I say, my personal favorite, when I do sit down after a very hard day, I definitely go to the hazelnut coffee. Okay, lovely. Kit Kat one for me. <laughs> so, Nicole, um, so where does all this happen? Is Have you, have you got a little, um, I don't know, what, what is it, a chocolate factory in your home? I mean, where does all of this happen? Who's involved? So, originally it started, and I think that's where a lot of people see the, the success story in it. Because being COVID, it started in my kitchen. And that's where I was making them. And then we built onto the house. And then I was making them in, in a little space that I had. And now I, I've grown my little space and we've moved into a bigger space. Also still at home. Um, I've got big dreams for it. But um, yeah, so we've we've moved three times. And it's just getting bigger, bigger and better oh, as we wow. go along. That's, and you know, from a business perspective, what a lovely story. Originally, uh, was it your kid? Is your kid involved? Or you've got a kid? I've got a son. Is he your master taster <laughs> he is and, and he's the only reason i can't make them after hours because the marshmallows seem to get feet when he's around <laughs> so a big problem around controlling stock i can just see the picture if you need someone to taste it for you and make sure it's oh, oh, perfect you can panel always of tasters, use me, use you'd me. Be the first one <laughs> yeah, okay yes. lovely when we get back christy i'd love to ask her a little bit more about her business model you know and, uh, and we'll delve a little bit more into the actual business itself um, and the dreams that she has for this amazing business. That dan net in op Helderberg FM. Louise van Wijk, samen met Liesel Peters met Vrouw op Helderberg FM. Ons is bezig met Business Lunch met coach Lindy en sy gesels met Nicole Cockett, die eindaar van Chocolate Bomb Delight en dit is rechtig iets om te beleef. Nog ek nog geproe nie, maar nie, net om dier te kyk na dit is ek al klaar te verrede met die product. Hoor, well done. Baie lekker. Ek kan het so misien. Ja, ek is nou, ek is nou ook a loyal customer. Absoluut klaar. So Nicole, tell us about, so who's by Buying this product from you, um, so where do, you know your customer base. What's been your experience in the last four years? So um, when I started the company, obviously a lot of people could relate to the story about losing jobs and needing money during COVID. So I always took the customers and and my social media. I took them with me. I took them with me on the journey, and it has been the customers that have started the story with me that are still almost four years later still buying from me, which is incredible. I, I'm very blessed with amazing customers and and they represent the product in in a sense too because they only have good things to say they they're marketing it on their statuses on facebook and and whatsapp and it's incredible to see the support and i can i can see a picture of a whole lot of ladies you know having a superb dinner and then finishing off with a a, a wonderful chocolate bomb delight so give us some idea of how many are you manufacturing at this stage so our capacity we we can do anything from 500 to to a thousand to two thousand a week um so we do quite a bit our our busy busier times is around the summer but we also do very nice um events so it's when mother's day comes up we do beautiful combos and easter and and all of and christmas time and teacher's day so we we celebrate all those celebrations with you and we try and make it special for your loved ones too by including beautiful items for them so do do you want to just elaborate so just give me a typical uh, idea for a mother's day gift so there's the chocolate bomb what else could you package in this gift so um i'm all about collaborations as well so i have collaborated with a local um lady that does cookies and she does the cookies for me so we do a chocolate bomb i do personalized mugs as well and then we do the mug the chocolate bomb and the cookies and what a beautiful gift for mom oh lovely it sounds fantastic so uh, there's also a wine farm that you do a wonderful wine and chocolate pairing tell us a little bit more about that and how did that come come about so that one, uh, I still get goosebumps about it because I started in June 2020 and that's next, the following year in March, I was headhunted by a PR company that works for Durbanville Hills and they wanted chocolate bombs. And, but they're very, they were very secretive about it. And um, only like a month before launch date, 
that I found out that it's Durbanville Hills. And we do a chocolate bomb and wine pairing. If you haven't had it, it is amazing. We are literally pouring some of the quality wines into the milk with chocolate bombs so it what? is a world first and it is phenomenal it is something to definitely go and try we do specialized flavors for them as well so it's flavors that you don't find on our normal catalog we do it winter times at the tasting rooms in durbanville so please do go give it a trial yeah, and it is a goosebump story. Wow. So this beautiful company, Durbanville Hills, and and do you only do it in, in winter time? Yes. So it is a winter promotion. Okay. Testing. So, you know, I'm, my mind's going all over the show. Um, what makes you most excited about your product and this beautiful business? I mean, I mean, day to day as a business owner, fighting challenges, which I'm sure there are. What makes you most excited? It's getting the messages and the videos from people that are actually enjoying them and they said we all sat around the table as a family and we watched these things explode it's it's that excitement and and just also people the encouragement that people send and, and that support is you can't match that to anything yeah and it's, it's almost like you're spreading joy you know just imagine people having this amazing delight and i think it must be so wonderful because you know, you're literally bringing joy to a person right and i think then lies I suppose the, I don't know what it is, the goosebump moment. Yes, no, definitely. Um, one of our, um, I'm part of a BNR group and one of the um, members said to me the other day, you sell joy in a cup and mm. how oh, lovely. Yeah, mm. How wonderful is that? Yes. Definitely. So as a business owner, we obviously also have lots of challenges. Um, is there something that jumps to mind that has been um, a bit of a hurdle and you've come overcome it or still struggling with it? So part of our, one of my line apps is doing the, the printed items. And I'll tell you, I have had many, many tears because, again, after a 13 year of construction background to now go into designing mugs and tumblers and those type of things and everything is self-taught um so i think i've done a great job at it but i, wa- I want to commend you um so by the way listeners in my hand i've got a beautiful what do you call this they are the tumblers a tumbler a beautiful looking tumbler with a beautiful flower motive and on here lindy milan executive business coach and my my details the most beautiful item so it can also be a corporate gift right yeah no definitely so and definitely. but the challenge is everything that we attempt there's a learning curve 100 percent. and like i said many tears many flops it was it's been <laughs> trial and error but i'm so proud of how they're looking now because and you overcome them and one thing that i have to say is is my tip for everyone is don't let something like that put you off your journey because just try and try find and a try. way keep find on trying keep on trying and, and you'll make you'll, you'll make it work and you know it's often determination and resilience um because we get tested with our ideas so stick to the idea just find a different way is that what you're saying to other entrepreneurs out 100%, there percent. yeah uh, it's hard many tears many late nights many early mornings but it is so worth it and therein lies the pride eh? so when we get back i want to ask nicole what what, what was the highlight up till now? Or maybe, you know, what are you the most proud about in terms of your business? And uh, we'll be back just after this. After this on Helderberg FM, we are busy with uh, Business Lunch with Coach Lindy. And we have Nicole Cockett in the studio, chocolate uh, owner of Chocolate Bomb Delight. Lindy, uh, last session. Can't wait. Nicole, um, so we're dealing with chocolate and, you know, now um, me traveling to my parents. Um, so how do, is there a solution around distribution? And you mentioned using Courier Guy in a cute little story. So maybe just for our listeners' delight, tell us a story about Courier Guy and you getting the stuff around the country. So I walked into the Courier Guy the one day and I gave them, each of the, the employees, there a chocolate bomb. And I said, there we go. This is me. This is the chocolate bombs I make. I said, try them enjoy the next day i came back and i had boxes of chocolate bombs that had to be created to um joburg and to kzn and i said now that you've had them now you know what you're careering look after them <laughs> and they do <laughs> they do i ha- they are brilliant i have uh, not had one that has arrived at customers traveling so far that has been broken melted or anything or exploded or exploded <laughs> and she also tells the story of traveling on a plane and then air pressure makes it then literally pop and then she couldn't say listen i've got a couple of 
the chocolate bombs. Imagine the, <laughs> the disaster. Yeah. Um, what? So where are you going with this business? So is it mainstream retail? Uh, so who would be a perfect customer for, except the the consumer? But I mean, you're looking to distribute towards what's it? Co- coffee shops. So what's your dream for chocolate bomb? So we were given the opportunity at the end of last year to feature our product um, at one of the spas in Strand. And it was an amazing opportunity. And they have sold so many since they've been stocking them. So those are avenues that I would like to go into. I want people to be able to go and buy their bread and their milk and then have a chocolate bomb and and be able to get Mm -hmm. it from um from convenience stores um also in coffee shops Mm. sit down standard item on you know on the menu 100 percent. yeah have them on the menu enjoying them at your favorite coffee shop with a nice piece of cake so I, i want chocolate bombs to be a standard wherever you go it it needs to be everywhere Mm. and and yeah. Whenever you have a cup of something, you should have a chocolate bomb. 100%. What gives you hope? The growth of the business gives me hope. It, it Every year I think to myself, uh, and again, just going back to the COVID story, I, I never thought I would make it out of that winter. And that December, I had my busiest time ever. And then the next job was headhunted by Durbanville Hills. And, and so every year there's just these amazing milestones that the company reaches. So I am so thrilled and so excited to see what this COVID baby can do. And yeah, it, we're going to be exploding all over Cape Town and all over South Africa. Oh, I love the vision. Nicole and I must commend you on um, you know your, your passion and your excitement it, I, mean, I can feel it, I can touch it I can taste it and, and it's just amazing and um, I want to say you know what, what inspires me most is you know often in life when one door closes another one opens and yeah out of desperation this beautiful business was born what, what did it take from you as a person to give birth to this? I mean was it courage? Was it determination? What was it? Never give up? Definitely. What's important to, to make it this far as a business owner? It definitely takes courage and commitment. Uh, you have to be able to commit your all to it. And I have to there bring in my husband because he is absolutely phenomenal. Him himself has sacrificed so much to be able to make my dream possible. And without his sacrifices, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. So I really have to thank him for that. And just... I know where to vent. It's you just have to keep going. <laughs> it's it's whatever hurdle there is, just keep going and keep staying motivated. And that's what that's where I've that's where it's brought me. It's just the courage and the motivation to keep going. And and then obviously having a support behind you, like your 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 team or your husband or your family, but then obviously also customers and the delight you're bringing them. You know, because you can't have a, if you don't have a customer, you don't have a business, right? 100%. So to keep on um, to really keep on um, I don't know bringing them joy. Yeah, no, 100%. And, and for me, it is. My customers are so important to me. When when I haven't heard from one in a while, I'll be like, I'm just checking in. Are you okay? Because you, bec- they become part of you. And, and and they stop. I've got this one customer. She's absolutely phenomenal support. And then she'll come and stop and say, um, so have you made a move into a shop yet? So she's always that person, like, encouraging. <laughs> What's your next step? What's what your next step? They're, they're so excited with Celebrating you. Celebrating your yeah, journey with 100%. you. 100%. So, so motivating. So excited about it. And it's it feels like they're just there with you. Great. So this. tell me something. Um, okay, so all the listeners from here to there want a chocolate bomb, guaranteed. Where do they get hold of you? Where can they buy it? So you need to tell us. Okay, so they can head over to our Facebook page. We upload daily, and all of our items that we have made um, is uploaded on there. So it is Chocolate Bomb Delight. And then they can also contact us on my business number on 083-345-0715. But Facebook is your place, Dick, uh, uh, Chocolate Bomb Delight. That's where they'll find you. And also coffee shops, business owners out there, same channel. Yes, they can all contact me on those. And um, for the businesses, uh, I bring beautiful samples for you guys. So you can also try them. So please get hold of us so we can bring and have a chat and give you your sample box so you can try them out to see what you're missing out on. Okay, well, that sounds fantastic. There's one spa where they can buy it as well, isn't there? Yes, at the Quick Spa in Strand. There you go. 
Okay, well, lovely. So, um, Nicole, once again, um, congratulations. I celebrate your success. I can see that you are, you know, you're heading with this amazing business to journeys and places that you wouldn't even have imagined back in 2020. But, yeah, you know what? Perseverance are always rewarded. And I pray on you the best of everything for you and your family. And may chocolate be victorious forever and a day. Thank you so much for coming. Any final word from your side? I just want to thank you guys so much for the opportunity. And um, when I got the little your little set up yesterday, I, I broke out in tears because I actually had to, for a minute, look back and say, is this me? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's what you say. You have to sometimes just step back and say, look at what I have all achieved. Yeah. Like you sometimes think the, the, there's all these hurdles and these milestones that you have to, but you never actually sit back and say, just appreciate what have I yeah. done and just what appreciate. have I created? And yeah, yeah so that so for So savor me, the moment. That for me was <laughs> amazing. So thank you guys so much for this opportunity. It was incredible. It is, um, and, and may you prosper. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Nicole. It was fantastic and I can't wait to taste mine. Yeah, bye. Thank you for my my sample ook. Ek, ek weet nie of ek om moet eet nie. Ek, ek, ja, nee, ek kyk ook na hierdie ek, ek, beautiful balliekie. Ek weet nie of ek om maar net met hou nie. <laughs> <laughs> net mooi daarop. Maar ons gaan altyd wonder hoe dit proef. Oh, dat is die ding, ek sal hem af en proef van maardag. So, ja. Baie dankie vir, vir dit, Nicole, and thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Uh, Lindy, en dan sien ek vir jou weer volgende donderdag. Volgende week, absoluut, en dan praat ons weer.